Welcome back to Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. We are in trouble. <laughs> we got Loki here. We got Namon here. We got Mr. Kung Fu over here just about to get eaten. Uh, of course, we've got our party split up. We got Wolverine and Rogue over here. We have Storm Colossus over there. And we still have not even found the blue uh, key. Oh my goodness. I think to start us off, we're going to head over here where Wolverine and Rogar, they are in trouble. The first thing we do, of course, is we add a power to every superhero. So Rogue's going to go from 2 to 3, Wolverine 2 to 3, Storm 0 to 1, and Colossus 2 to 3. Everyone's going to gain their power. All right, um, let's go see what we can do with Wolverine and Rogue. Oh boy, we are in trouble. All right, we have to take Loki down. Wolverine is... Uh, not leveled up yet, so he has three actions. Rogue's got four. Uh, I think we're going to start off with Wolverine. And you know what we're going to do with Wolverine? We're going to do a power-up. That's going to take him from three power to four. So for his first action, he's doing a power-up. The second action, he will be attacking Loki using all four power. Uh, is that going to do anything for us? Probably not. <laughs> Let's take a look. Because he's going to be rolling seven dice... Hitting on a four plus, sixes are exploding, which means he gets to re-roll the sixes. Um, let's hope to force that. Let's hope that um, Wolverine can take Loki down. Otherwise, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> a lot of trouble. Let's see. Does he do it? He gets. Oh my God! He got four plus. He gets an exploding die. Wolverine. All right, and I think that's going to level him up, too. And he gets another six. Oh, yeah, he's just not... He's smacking Loki around. I love it. And another six. Okay, okay, enough, Wolverine, enough. Uh, Wolverine gets two, four, six, seven hits. Oh, my God. Seven hits. Loki, nice try disguising yourself as a, uh, as a walker, but you are absolutely destroyed. And that's going to give Wolverine... For experience, Wolverine's used two actions, level up and pounding Loki into the dirt. For experience, he's going to go from five to nine, which means Wolverine levels up. Wolverine has two more actions now. He might as well keep beating on these guys. Why would he not do that? Because uh, he's right there. So let's have him attack the three walkers. He does not have any power left, but that's okay. Uh, he rolls three dice, hits on a four plus. So he's just going to keep going at these guys, and he gets two of them, holy jumping, and a six, wait a second, he gets an exploding die. Uh, is he going to hit with the last one and take all three out? Wow, he's getting a little ragey. Loki really annoyed him, I guess, and he gets a one, so no, he takes down two walkers. Um, but he has one more attack left, so two more experience, he's up to eleven. He gets one more attack. He may as well try and get rid of this last walker, clearing the way for Rogue. Come on, Wolverine. You can do it. He gets one five. So he's getting a little tired, but he manages to take out the final walker, taking him to 12 experience. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wolverine has wiped the floor. Okay, up next. Uh, well, we can choose who we want. Do we want to have Rogue going next? Uh, Rogue has, oh boy, yeah, I think we're going to have to have Rogue go next. Maybe we can save this guy now, I don't know. Let me rearrange the camera and we'll figure this out. All right, Rogue is in the blue. Rogue's going to try to go on a rescue mission. We really need to try and not have this guy get killed. So Rogue's first action, she's going to move right in here with the four walkers. Seems very dangerous. Her second action will be to attack those guys by spending all three of her power. So she's spending three of her power, so she's gonna be rolling five dice, hitting on a two, or three plus. Five dice, hitting on a three plus, and she's got four walkers. I don't know if she can rescue the guy. She's really gonna try, though. Uh, <laughs> two, four, she gets five hits. Rogue goes in there with the mighty punches and absolutely just plays ping pong with these four walkers, absolutely crushing the daylights right out of them. Giving her four experience, she's up to 12. Same as Wolverine, she's got two actions left. She's gonna move over here 
This is really dangerous. This is so dangerous, but I love it. Okay, so she's got one action left. She's got no power. Uh, she's going to be rolling three dice. Has, uh, no, two dice. Oh, my God. Uh, well, she's she, we're trying to rescue bystanders, and we don't want to lose them. All right, she's got two dice hitting on a three plus, and she's got no power. Oh, she At least she gets two of them. All right, she takes out two walkers. Holy God, she's up to 14 experience. Uh, however, and we can see there's one walker remaining, so she will take a damage. She has Howard the duck, but she doesn't have any power left. So, yeah. Well, we'll we can live with Rogue taking a damage. Wow, did we ever clean up the streets, except we got this guy on the way, and that's, he's bad news too. Although, he ha you know what, he doesn't have line of sight to Rogue, he has line of sight to Wolverine, so he's going to go 1-2 to Wolverine. Yes, which means Wolverine probably take him down oh my god all right let's go over and see what storm and colossus are up to well storm and colossus have a little bit of excitement going on here too uh we are going to start with storm we we'll start with storm she is going to rescue Callisto to start with uh, and i don't know if she's going to keep this one attacking you may ignore target priority is that a good thing to have Versus because she already has Abigail, which is once during your turn you may spend the power automatically and make a walker or runner within range one. Um, spending the power and eliminating something is actually, I think, better than Callisto. All right, she's going to go to full power for rescuing Callisto, so that's at least something. But we're not going to actually keep Callisto in the party because you can only keep one bystander. Okay. Storm is at full power. Why did I move her there? She will. I wonder if she should attack these guys. Uh, and she also has Courageous. Discard during your turn and spend any amount of... Uh, the, oh, the, we need this for Rogue. But anyway, Rogue doesn't have that. So, I have to think. She has three actions remaining. She's in the yellow. Uh, I think she better try to take out some of these brutes. Or should she just hightail it? Now, she's going to do one attack. She will spend three of her four power trying to attack these guys. So that gives her five. You know what? No, what? She's going to spend all four power. She's just going for broke. Spending all four power. She's going to be rolling six dice, hitting on a three plus. These guys take two hits, though. So, but she is going to be rolling six dice, hitting on a three plus. She might be able to knock them all out. Let's see if she can. Can she knock them all out? Three plus. Um, I don't think so. She gets one, two, three, four. She gets five hits. Darn it. Well, that takes out two of them, and the other one only took one hit, but it takes two hits to take them down. Okay, that was her second action. She has another action. There's another two actions. She could, well, trying to hit this guy and get two hits, I think is going to be a waste of time. So for her final two actions, she's going to go one, Two. She's going to try and get back through the mansion and try and uh, join Wolverine and Rogue. Got to get our superheroes back together. We we're in a bit of trouble here. Okay. Uh, up next is Colossus. Going to bring us up to the end of our hero activations. He has three power. Of course, Colossus is sitting in a zone with a token. So the first action he will do, and he's still in the blue zone, is... Yes! We found the blue key! Yes! Okay, that gives everybody... Everyone gets five experience. So, let's start with Colossus, because he found... He's going to go from three to eight. He just clicked over to the yellow zone. So he gets three actions. So he just leveled up. Storm gets five, goes from 11 to 16. Oh boy, 19... Oh no! Oh, 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 tactical errors already. Wolverine from 12, uh, he gets 5, he's going to 17. Unfortunately, we're adding 5 to Rogue. Rogue goes to 19 experience, and that clicks us into the, yes, the orange zone. So Rogue just clicked over to the orange zone. Oh man, she gets absorb abilities. Once during your turn, you can spend a power, copy an attack, and or unlock skill from any other superhero within range 1 until the end of the round. So she can borrow anybody's uh, ability or skill if she spends a power now. But we're in orange! Oh god, no! No, no, no. 
Okay, uh, Colossus has three actions remaining. He's just going to go one, two, three. We got to get over to the garden house uh, and get the green key. Man, we're in orange now. Oh, that is so bad. Well, that is the end of our superheroes activations. Uh, and now it is time, unfortunately, for the bad guys to go, the zombies. And we've got quite a few of them. So, oh, we're right here. This guy is going to move. So he can go one, two. Yeah, he won't take this way. He'll follow. He's going to follow these guys. He goes right here. He's trying to follow Storm and Colossus. Okay, we got three runners down below. We got a bunch of stuff. Let's let's move the rest of the stuff now. Okay, we got three runners here. Well, let's do this guy first. He can see Wolverine, so I don't think he's going to go for Rogue. I don't think he would do that. He would just go one, two, right into Wolverine. Wolverine's like, bring it on, Bob. All right, so we got Namor right here. This is actually good because this guy's ability is going to get kind of negate last in party target. Gains a plus one toughness for each other enemy within range one. <laughs> There's no other enemies. Rogue. And uh, Wolverine made sure of that. Now, this, these runners can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're just gonna, they just all run here. So we've got three runners running this way. Here's the sad part. Uh, the Rogue is gonna get hit with one walker attack because there's nothing she can do about it. Even though she has the lovely Howard the Duck, she has no power left. She spent it all. I should have saved one, didn't. But at least we saved this guy pretty much because uh, he's not getting killed now by the walker. Cool. Well, uh, Rogue takes a damage. She goes from three health down to two. She takes two more hits. Eliminated. All right. That was all the zombies moving and activating. It's time now to spawn. And we're in the orange zone. Oh, this is not good. Okay, first orange spawn. Oh, oh man, orange. Okay, three brutes. Okay, that, that could have been much worse. <laughs> well, everything is going to be bad now. We're in the orange. Three brutes. Well, we got rid of three brutes. Well, we got rid of two of the three brutes. We got three more showing up. Okay, not good. All right, that's spawn point one. Let's go down below the fountain. Spawn point number two in the orange. Oh, we just clicked rogue over to orange. That's, that's not good. Okay, um, eight walkers and a rush. Uh, so eight walker rushes. Wow. So they will follow these guys. So they're actually going to spawn here and end up here. So I'm going to put eight walkers right there. And as you can see, that is a lot of walkers. And we got to get, of course, into the, into this uh, greenhouse. Oh boy. All right. We got one spawn point remaining. And I should have mentioned, we do have one bystander on the board. He would not move though, because he's in a spot with a zombie. And plus he's also in the spot with Rogue. So I didn't bother doing any um, bystander activation, because he really is not going anywhere. Okay, our final spawn point in the orange. Is Rogue going to be... Oh my god, this is so bad. Eight walkers for Rogue. Eight! Oh my god. Oi, oi, oi. This, this is going to get a little problematic. Let me get the eight walkers in here. It's going to be nine total. Oh, as you can see, this is bad. This is very bad. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, can Wolverine even do it? If Wolverine takes this guy out, then he's got one attack. One, two, three, four. He could get in there with Rogue. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to zoom out. We're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, well, we have the garden shed key, but as you can see, we have a lot of problems. Oh my god. Uh, and we really need to get Colossus and Storm out there to help, and oh wow, this is nasty business. Nasty, nasty business. All right, so thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. We're doing MH2 Hit the Road, and oh boy, we've got a lot of trouble down here, and of course, that's the way we have to go. <laughs> yeah, we did take out Loki, though, while Wolverine uh, pulled his socks out of the fire there a little bit. We still have the Sentinel Hand sitting out here. I don't know if that's going to come into play. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, thanks so much, and uh, thanks a lot for watching along. I appreciate it. helps on my channel, and I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Continuation, Marvel Zombies, X-Men Resistance. We're trying to hit the road, but, man, the zombies are trying to hit us. All right, thanks so much. Hope to see you then.
All right, one correction here at the end of the episode. Arr! When Wolverine went crazy in here and took out Loki, the other, he did seven damage. He did seven hits. Four would have taken out Loki. Three would have taken out all of the uh, zombies in this zone. So he had two actions remaining. So what we're going to do with his two remaining actions, he could have moved in here with the four zombies and attacked them. But you know what? We're going to... We're going to let Rogue do all of her stuff and make sure everything kind of stays where it is. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty annoying. But anyway, he did have two actions remaining then. So for his two actions, he'll do a power-up, because why not? So we get a power-up for him, and he'll also get a heroic trait. Uh, so we don't waste a courage. During your turn, you can spend any number of amount to heal any number of wounds. Why did we not get that for Rogue? Okay, so... That clears that up. So just I keep I've done this before. I don't know why I keep thinking that. A lot of the games I think you attack one target, wipe it out. In this game, it's a number of hits, and there's a target priority. So you do the number of hits first to to the target priority, and any leftover hits just go down the chain of target priority. So obviously the Loki was the number one target, and then the Walkers after that. So Wolverine basically took them all out. So. To fix everything, like I said, I'm giving him two extra actions because he would have had it. He would have leveled up, taken out Loki, and then he would have, um, yeah, two more. Two more actions. Heroic trait, power up. Boom, done. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry for that confusion. I don't think it happened anywhere else. But anyway, thanks so much for watching along. And I'll see you tomorrow for continuation Marvel Zombies X-Men Resistance. We're doing mission MH2, Hit the Road.